I'm going to fire a load of names at you. And for this one, all ECW names, because you've spent so much time in ECW in, in the, um, uh, even in front of the camera a couple of times as well. Um, so I'm going to throw some names at you. You tell me if they're cool, if they're not cool. Maybe a funny story if you can think of anything in. And the first one's Raven. Raven. Cool, smart guy. Um, I could see how certain people could think he's a little bit. He has like a sarcastic kind of sense of humor, but cool. Yeah, I get along with Raven. <laughs> Al Snow. Oh, dude, super cool. And uh, fucking my brother and Al Snow, man, the two of them, I'd see him in Massachusetts all the time. Him and my brother would be the main event, and they would go an hour plus every fucking time. And they would they would just do shit. I remember, like, let's say, you know, boom, boom, they're wrestling. Al Snow's in the corner. Boom, boom. Here's my brother with sweet chin music. One, two, kick out. My brother, boom, gives him a pedigree. Boom. Then does the fucking people's elbow. Boom. Then, you know, he'll, my brother would miss a fucking swanton. You know, Al Snow would fucking like do a Hulk Hogan, Hulk up and point at him. Like they would do that shit and the people would go fucking wild. Like some of the best matches ever were my brother and Al Snow. And uh, just one that I remember, they were doing this shit. The place was going crazy. I'm backstage with balls. We're watching. And he's like, JC, JC, let's get involved. Let's get involved. Uh, I'm like, all right. So, because they were just having so much fun. Like, we couldn't they fucking even contain ourselves. So, John goes bolting out there and he starts putting the boots to fucking Al Snow. And, I, and I'm like, all right. So, I like, chase balls out there and I grab balls. And then Al Snow pulls me off and he's like, stop fighting with balls, Malone. You're taking the crowd away from us, fucker. And uh, I'm like, shit, sorry. And I fucking, took a powder it was actually outside the ring he was clobbering me and i think my brother did the same thing to john and both of us kind of made our way back to the locker room but me and al joked about that after but uh yeah i i thought al's nose fucking awesome man uh next one uh bill alfonso daddy oh dude bill alfonso is hilarious um again awesome guy tells fucking great stories um and that's his personality he's always like fired up like you know ready to go. He's the guy at the, at, you know, that'll have a drink with you at the airport at nine in the morning. He's just like cool as shit, you know. Uh, Francine. Francine's freaking awesome. Uh, me and her talk a lot like recently, especially on Twitter. I, I did her podcast and we did like a similar like Twitch gimmick. Um, yeah, she's like super cool. Um, I, I, I've known her for a long time. She We've worked together like her. She's managed opposite me before. And, uh, yeah, she's really cool. Uh, hat guy, the guy who sat in the front row. Oh, the hat guy. Uh, yeah, dude, he was like, uh, I think my brother told me he was like one of the, fan, one of the guys who started his fan club. Um, I met the hat guy. There was the hat guy. Then there was the guy with the long hair, the glasses. That fake, was, yeah. Fake right no more guy. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. I mean, I don't know whatever happened to hat guy, but he was definitely like, at every fucking ECW, at least the arena shows, <laughs> you know, again, I was younger, but I definitely remember Hat Guy. And I think we used to call the guy with the glasses and the long hair Diesel, me and my buddies. <laughs> Dude, he's probably going to turn up on uh, WWE Network because they're doing a thing about Vladimir. You know, like the like the sort of like a uh, uh, mixed race dude, the like tall, thin guy with the big bottle coat bottle glasses in the WWF yeah, yeah, yeah. they've done a documentary on him no less or like they're honoring yeah. him or something like that it's crazy oh shit yeah hat guy's definitely got to be in there yeah. he's one of the most like iconic fans Dude, uh, big dick Dudley uh, tough son of a bitch from what I hear um, also super cool a mountain of a guy like you saw him and you were like holy shit like he, he was big arms like freaking like 30 inch around just a, a, a hulking dude and just a, like a legit badass. Yeah. Uh, this one I thought to mention because when I saw you wrestling, because I watched a couple of clips of you wrestle, you reminded me of him, Louis Spicoli, because you had the sort of hair going back and everything. I thought, you know, a slight resemblance there, if nothing else. Louis Spicoli is so awesome. Actually, I linked up with his, uh, his, his brother in law, and we've been talking. Louis was so cool. Like, I remember driving to shows with him. And uh, the Freebirds, the, the song Freebird by Leonard Skinner came on, and him and my brother did the whole fucking dance. He, Louis Piccoli was always high energy, always having fun, um, always, always positive, you know, mm -hmm. like 
he, he was he was great, man. He he was uh, he was he was he was a, a funny guy and a great talent, and you know another guy who's sorely missed, who's fucking awesome. Uh, Mikey Whitbreck, fucking awesome dude. I uh, I talk to Mikey all the time still. Um, he yeah, he's f- super talented guy, and again super. I'm, I I don't really have anything bad to say about anyone. I mean. Mikey's really cool. Like I still talk to a lot of the ECW guys, like pr- weekly. You know, so Mikey, I talk to all the time. He's cool as shit. <laughs> I, I don't pick these people for the most part to think like, oh, this guy's really going to hate him. I, I'm I'm after like the weird <laughs> stories that people might not think. But here's one. Uh, then. Yeah, uh, chastity. That's that chick that was with Jason Knight. <sighs> I think so. Give me one minute. I, I'll, I, I'll th- find a photo. Hang on. Put my phone on the floor. I forgot to put it on. I, if it's I, a chick, I, I, I think it is. Hang on. Chastity. Hang on. ECW. Oh, come on. Yo, it is the one with the blonde hair. Sorry. I was thinking of someone else. Yeah. Uh, I uh, I was going to say between me and you, but I guess you know, more people are going to hear this. <laughs> Her and my brother uh, like fooled around. I think that was one of the things that if I would say anything, he's like, you know, I'm not perfect too. I fucking fucked around with chastity. So I don't know if I'm like, if people knew that or not, but uh, yeah, I know my brother hooked up with her in those days. I suppose what's, what's good for the goose is good for the gander, I suppose. (laughs) Um, We've already mentioned two called Scorpio. So I'll skip him. Tracy Smothers. You've already mentioned her a bit, but you've got to give him some more. So many freaking dude, man. He would freaking his stories were freaking epic, and he would always he would smoke weed, but he he would always smoke it in his underwear because he didn't want his he didn't want his old lady smelling it on him. But he'd be like, man, I was oh he would he was always like a thousand miles an hour, like hey man, I was just in Branson, Missouri, man, biker bars, man, biker bars, wrestling in biker bars. That's right, brother. And he, he would constantly high five, telling stories, shadow boxing, you know. Uh, he he was fucking epic, man. I love that dude. And he's like, like, legit, like from the mountains. Like he would like, but this is a story my brother told me that he would like, they'd be driving to a show and he'd see like a, like a stream going down a mountain and he would just like, uh, like, like take his like a uh, water bottle and fill it up with mountain water. And he's like, yeah, if it passes, if it passes through a rock eight times, it's purified and just like drink it. But he could handle that shit. Cause he's like a, like country guy. And, you know, would probably make my brother sick, but he, he Tracy was like, and I heard he came up doing these like uh, this, these like farmer brawls, like who had like the most badass farmer, and he like whooped everybody's ass. So that's like, uh, but dude, Tracy was the fucking man. Dude, uh, my actual uh, my actual finale was New Jack. We've already done New Jack, so I'll give you two more, and then we'll uh, cut it off because uh, I've, I've taken up too much of your time already. So I'll say Nova. Nova, he's he's a freaking class act, and dude, me and him when I was a kid. We had a we had a Mortal Kombat feud going. The you know on the the big yeah. arcade games, we play freaking Mortal Kombat. Um, which which one I specifically? Said, one, two, three, or trilogy? Um, I was a scorpion that threw the fucking gimmicks. Like get over here, and then pff, hit the guy with the uppercut. Well, whatever that whatever was out in that fucking year, I forget. There was Scorpion, Sub Zero, Chun Li that did the kicks. No, that was Street Fighter Chun Li, I think. Spinning bird kick. What that, that was, was it? Yeah, was that street? was Chun. Yeah, Chun Li was uh, Street Fighter. All right, then, then Sub Zero and Scorpion. That, is that Mortal Kombat? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So me and him had a Mortal Kombat feud. Um, he was cool as shit. I'm, I'm sure he still is. He has a twin brother that used to, that ran shows in Jersey. Um, yeah, I, I can't think of any real crazy stories other than playing him fucking video games <laughs> when I was a kid. But. Uh, yeah, awesome dude, man. Dude, I'm I'm going to take a total punt on this because I'm not sure you really you may have met or you may not have Missy Hyatt. Oh, uh, dude, yeah, I'm at Missy Hyatt. Um, <laughs> pretty freaking crazy. I mean, a lot of seen a lot of a lot of fucking crazy shit around uh, around around Missy Hyatt's place. Um, what can I say? She was always cool to me, and. Um, yeah, I, I got no, no, nothing bad to say about her. I think she's, I think she was a good-looking chick, and uh, she was always cool to me. So what the hell? 